Hello guys, here's again a Unity tutorial and that will show you how to control animations using a slider UI component. Here's the project from the previous part and to be able to control the animation with a slider we have to change the animator controller a bit. First I remove the states for the animations open and close and also the triggers. Now we can start from scratch and I just drag the open animation into the editor. It is defined as the default animation and I rename it to open close. Ok, now we need a parameter of type float that will set the time of the animation, the keyframe if you like, so I call it open close value for example. And then I assign this parameter to the motion time of the open close animation state. The motion time sets the normalized time of the animation, so it has a range from 0 to 1. The idea is to add a slider now to the scene, but that you can change this parameter to open or close the box. Ok, so I right click here in the hierarchy and go to UI slider and then a canvas and slider component are added. Here I double click the slider so that it is focused and change the view to 2D so that we can see it better. In the inspector you can see when you change the value of the slider the knob is moving. Alright, so what we need is a script in that we can react when the user changes the slider and there we set the parameter of the animator, the open close value to the value of the slider, that's it. I will reuse the script that we created in the previous part, the open close C sharp script, but first I have to remove it here from the box because we need it as a component that is attached to the slider. So I select the slider and drag the open close script into the inspector and then it is attached as a component. But of course we have to change the code. We can remove the update method that we used in the previous part to set the trigger of the animator when the keys O and C are pressed. But we need a method that is called when the value of the slider is changing. I name this method apply animation. Instead of the animator we need the slider UI component as a variable. I call it mSlider but the class slider is not known at the moment. We have to add the using statement for the namespace Unity Engine UI. And now instead of the animator we get the component of type slider and assign it to the variable. What we also need is a reference to the box game object because we have to get the animator that is attached to it so that we can control the parameter open close value of the animator. So go ahead in the apply animation method, check if the box is assigned, if it is not null. Then I get the animator component from the box. And then we can use the animator to set the parameter open close value to the value of the slider. Ok, that's it for the script. The only thing we have to do now is to assign the box to the slot of the script. Right, and then I add an on value changed event handler to the slider. And the method can be found in the open close script. Here it is apply animation. Ok, and now we can start the game and you see when I change the slider, the parameter open close value is affected and the animation is played accordingly. 
So guys, I hope you liked this short video. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Support me as my patron or join as a channel member. You can buy me a coffee if you like. The links are in the description below. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.